Just two chicken. Jackie Dragon is. So these guys are called yellow-faced whip snakes. Now they're an elapid species, so which means they are a front fang venomous snake. But these guys are only mildly venomous, so they're not like a red belly or a brown where they can kill you. They just really cause marked local symptoms. Yeah, but they are actually um, known by some people as having one of the most painful bites of any snake in Australia, more painful than a red belly black snake. Or, or even if, the eastern brown, which is the yeah. second most venomous snake in the world. Yeah, or any of that stuff, because if they're mildly venomous, so they can't kill people, but they've got to actually use their very painful venom to warn predators that they think they can um, hurt them. So these guys are an egg-laying species, and they're actually sometimes communal, so... Um, we There's found these two, yeah, they're communal, so that means that yeah, they right live in the same area, so we found them in There's a whole lot of them, a wood, yeah. Yeah, wood pile there and a wood pile over there. Yeah, and um, people have actually found 
um, nests of whip snakes which lay eggs and they found nests of a lot of eggs from over 80 different females all laying their eggs in one communal spot so it's pretty amazing which is yeah pretty amazing for something snake. such as a snake yeah but these guys are a male and female now I can tell that by the length of their tails if you look here this one's got a tail this long and can then you tell by their anal thing. plates or no no just the tail size so tell, hold up your tail and see the difference in the tail length Ooh. from the vent to the tip of the tail so this means Which this is basically from that area down to here. Yeah. So they're actually a breeding pair, I'd say. And, and that's can... why they were found so close to each other, especially in this season. Yeah. Well, it's actually um, pretty cold and wet day today, so it's the best time to find them hiding underneath tin and rocks and logs. And you can see here on this one's back and neck, she's got this beautiful coppery tinge, whereas this one doesn't. So some of them have that, some of them do, and there's actually some of them from different localities that actually have this beautiful copper going all the way. The noticeable thing is that when you feel them, they're like very velvety. Yeah, very nice. So yeah, they're diurnal, hunt during the day, actively hunt for things such as skinks, so yeah. small lizards. Favourite food is skinks, and a lot of snakes actually ambush their prey, but yeah, they actively hunt. Mm. Mm. Um, they're often mistaken, unfortunately, for brown snakes and killed, which is a real shame because no snake should kill be killed but especially um oh they've got a tick I'll just get Gotcha. And the most noticeable way to tell them uh, the difference is one, the colouring, you'll notice that these might have a slight red or blue tinge yeah. and around their eyes they'll have almost a uh, yellow curve that goes around it yeah. which is the biggest and most noticeable difference Which is why they call me yellow faced whip snake but yeah you can see that it's like a comma shape Yeah mm -hmm. Do it on this camera as well What's that? Mm. Two yellow faced whip snakes so these guys, their habitat is the east coast of Australia and ranging quite far inland to um, actually out to central Australia and then they'll also go up the north Queensland and around the top end into the northern territory and top end of western Australia which is where they've actually got two different subspecies um, that have different colours. Yeah so these guys sometimes grow a little bit larger than that but this one especially is considered a pretty large whip snake so yeah. that's um, a very decent size but they can grow to just under a metre long maximum. So yeah, this one, this one I'm holding now is probably about 30 to 40 centimetres, maybe yeah. a bit more. This one's maybe, what, 50? Um, mm, yeah, about 50 centimetres. Yeah, so they can get to um, about 70 centimetres, max. Mm -hmm. See that there? See, they're, so they're a very fast species and they're very quick to get out of your way. And they're very whippy, what they call them a whip snake when they run, they'll flip their tails. Yeah, good interpretation of how <laughs> that works. Yeah. But um, I'm actually going to do a bite test. I don't know, he's not seeming to wanna Do you wanna just I might have to head him, sorry man. There you go, he's biting Ooh, you there now. You go. Yep, that's got one thing in. I'll just cheat again if you can get a proper bite. Oh, oh that's yeah. Okay, so there I just caught two bites from a yellow faced whip snake, so we're <laughs> actually just gonna watch and see the effects of this species venom. So they say it's only a mildly venomous species, but the venom Sometimes. kills, absolutely kills. Yeah, it's, it hurts. Um, and these guys can actually kill um, very small children, people with weak hearts, or extremely old people. But, oh yeah, I can actually feel that starting to burn a little bit of my finger. Uh, thanks, buddy. I'm sorry about that, mate. <laughs> so, yeah, <laughs> yeah. What, I'll be good for a bite sorry. test, so I'm, um, yeah. You're not? No? No, okay. not this. So you Maybe can, something not as much. So you can see there's the two bites there. Um, yeah, it's starting to bleed. Yeah, but yeah, they're actually uh, more painful than a lot of other mildly venomous snakes, such as um, crown snakes and Yeah, I think snakes. I'll start off with something like that and work my way up. Yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah that's actually quite... <laughs> nice. <laughs> this is going to be fun to watch. Yeah, so these guys are a reasonably common species, but they're um, not often seen by herpers, because that's how it seems to work. Everyone who's out looking for them doesn't often find them, but... Yeah, some people often see them out hunting through the day or sit on the path, but they're very quickly to go if they um, feel they're afraid. Oh, yeah. Is anyone going to release them now? Yeah. yeah. Alright, so this one that was a less aggro one was under
the moment because it's such a cold day and they've been hiding. They're not too aggressive or fast, so um, they're in their slow stage at the moment. So we don't want to leave them out in case they're slow and lethargic and a bird will come and grab them. We've got to watch out for kookaburras and um, feral cats and foxes and antiques and stuff like that. That is the catch and release. Two, Two yellow, yellow face, face whip snakes. snakes. Alright guys, so I'd actually like to thank Anuj Argwal from Feedspot. Feedspot's actually featured my YouTube channel as 90th in the top 100 animal related YouTube channels in the world. And that's, and that's such an honour. It's amazing, I never thought that would happen. I couldn't have done it without you guys, so... Thanks for subscribing, liking our videos, watching our videos, and um, thanks to Feedspot. They make awesome lists of different kind of YouTube channels and help people find YouTube channels that they might like and want to watch. So go check them them out. I'll leave a link down in the description. Okay, guys, click the link in the top left to subscribe to the channel. Click the link in the bottom left to see a video that I selected for you. See the top right to see the latest video, or the bottom right to see a video YouTube selected.